There is a teacher like this in every, in every school. I don't care if you call Buddha or Vishnu or it doesn't matter. They all taught the same thing, love thy brother. And you'll, you love thyself and love thy brother. And the rest is the details. To get out of your primitive state. To enter into freedom. And so once, you, once you're in a free perspective, you're in freedom, well, that's a great space to be. It's called the eye of the hurricane. It's a zero point energy. You know, the eye of the hurricane is really peaceful there. All the world's rolling around. Scientists, they um, spend a lot of money and they still can't get in the eye of the hurricane. They want to study it. It's nature. It's the only point of perspective. If you're anywhere else, you're part of the movement and you don't have clarity of what is. So you want to be in the eye of the hurricane to get real analysis of what things are. So every individual is in a whirlwind of hurricanes at all times. They got a little vortex in their heart. They don't fill it with light, with the higher resonances, the higher frequencies. They try to feed it with baser energies and they never satisfy. Because the baser energies are all fraction, they're all fractile, they're all lower resonances and they're all detached from oneness. They're all in polarities. So they're never infinity, they're all reductionist. They're all um, little splinters and fractiles and reduction and reduction and reduction. So an individual becomes this really big black hole with this big vortex in their heart and they go, oh, I'm so desiring. Uh, maybe if I had one more of this or one more of that. And they try to fill it in with linear sen materialistic sensations. And the more they try and they jump and they decide, they, it's like a sedative. It, it, it broadcasts like a, a numbness for just a little bit and then it's back. And what, what, what didn't, what didn't, what was effective yesterday is not effective anymore. And they need a greater sedative now in order to block out that feeling. And they go and tripping up into this spiral of decay um, until they hit rock bottom and get humility. And then they, they go, um, I saw the Lord. <laughs> but they don't say, I saw, well, they say that, but it wasn't the Lord at all. It was just for a moment they were at zero point energy and so if you exist in zero point you exist for all eternity because behind the veil it is not fractile and it's not past present and future it's just in oneness and so if you're aligned in zero point then from that point on you exist for all eternity actualized because the consequence of that energy where you're at now played out for all eternity is an actualized ascension and so in that space the glory that is you can return to you and visit you in your own language and say to you, you are worthy. You are worthy. Because I live in eternity and I actualize and I came to realize that all oh, are worthy. All oh, are worthy for all sorts of resonance and unconditional love. It's been a big distraction.